Everyone thinks that Russia is the coldest country in the world. Yes, it's true, but in the south of the European part of Russia, there is a unique region with a subtropical climate. This is the city of Sochi, which stretches along the coast of Black Sea and the Caucasus Mountains for 145 kilometers. It's about 90 miles. After the collapse of the USSR, this is the only city in Russia that has a subtropical climate. The same climate has cities such as Tokyo in Japan, Auckland in New Zealand, Porto in Portugal, and Biarritz in France. Sochi, very unusual city for cold Russia. You can see here 22 species of palm trees, tangerines, oranges, lemons. Even tea is grown here. It was previously believed that the northernmost tea in the world is grown here. But now tea is growing in the United Kingdom as well. Sochi was the most popular Soviet resort because for most Soviet citizens travel abroad was banned. Sochi was visited by about 5 million vacationers annually. All the hotels and beaches of the city were crowded. Life was in full swing in Sochi around the clock. In Soviet times the resort didn't stand idle even in winter. Sochi was a favorite vacation spot of Soviet rulers, starting with Stalin. Ideal roads, parks, flower gardens. Moving to live from another city of Soviet Union in Sochi wasn't easy. But this didn't stop enterprising people with connections and even without them to move to Sochi which contributed to the formation of special community of people here. In Soviet times many citizens dreamed of living in Sochi, but not many could release this dream. The value of the real estate in Sochi was equal to the value of the real estate in the capital of the Soviet Union in Moscow. There was even a popular proverb in the Soviet Union. If I can predict the future, I will live in Sochi. In the development of Sochi, two periods are clearly distinguished – Soviet and post-Soviet. In the Soviet period, the city developed as an all-union health resort sanatoriums, theaters, museums in the style of a Stalinist empire were built, parks were set up. Some vacationers after vacation in Sochi asked the question, will communism look like this when we build it? After the collapse of the USSR, everything changed in the 90s. Ugly buildings began to appear in every empty place in the city. Now, for a bribe, you can build anything and anywhere. Then, in preparation for the Winter Olympic Games, high-rise buildings began to appear everywhere. This is a typical example of the arbitrariness of city authorities against citizens. The authorities refused to evaluate the expensive land in the city center on which the old house is located and began to resettle the residents of the house in a hastily built new building on the outskirts of the city. The new building isn't commissioned cause it has 10 floors while according to the project it should have 8 floors. This is an Olympic Park. It hosted the Winter Olympic Games in 2014. Now it's a half-dead zone. Huge territories are covered with asphalt and concrete. In my opinion, this is wrong for a subtropical resort city.
The situation is different with the ski resort of Krasnaya Polana, where the Winter Olympic Games were also held. This is now one of the most popular ski resorts in Russia. After the collapse of the USSR, many fences appeared in the city. They can be seen everywhere. On city streets, around houses, on beaches owned by various government departments and oligarchs. Even the Soviet health paths, which allegedly restored and opened with fanfare, often pass between the fences. In some places walking along this path, one gets the impression that you are in prison. If you turn off the trail, you can see the traces of a disappeared civilization, abandoned descent to the sea, indicating that in Soviet times this trail was very popular among vacationers. Some other health paths are abandoned. Now you can shoot past apocalyptic films there. Many Soviet sanatoriums are now half abandoned as well. After the collapse of the USSR, the city of Sochi is very difficult to compete with Turkey. In Turkey, the level of service is higher than in Sochi, while prices are usually lower. Therefore, now many Russians prefer to go on vacation to Turkey or Egypt. But after the World Cup, which was held here in 2018, several new direct international flights appeared from Tel Aviv and Dubai to Sochi. This is a big plus for the resort. Hotel owners are delighted that the city is visited by foreign tourists. Before the Winter Olympics, the official population of Sochi was 450,000 people. Now 650,000 people live in the city. But this is only official information. I think that the real population of the city is more. In recent years, a large number of internal migrants arrived in Sochi primarily residents from Siberia and uh, the far east of the country. I get the impression that people are escaping from there. Now they prefer to live in city with a good climate. In my opinion, the city of Sochi is no longer a resort city in the full sense of the word becoming a city with a comfortable climate for living. Russia is big, but there are no more such places.